Orale. It's me again, your favorite backcountry bow hunting cholo today with a how to video. Let me show you. Let me show you. So today, it's going for a cholo hike, you know, doing what backcountry bow hunting cholos do. And I come across something, man. That's disgusting, man. Obviously, some people never learn how to poop in the woods, man. So today, me, the backcountry bow hunting cholo, I'm gonna show you the proper way to poop in the woods. First things first, we gotta find the right spot, man. So let's go ahead and take a hike. Let's look for the right spot to take a dump in the backcountry woods. Okay, my little carnalitos. So we already found a good spot right here. We got a nice rock, we can see it against the rock. Dig a hole right in front of the rock right there and do our business. Another good spot you can look for is when two, two logs are, are falling and you can see right between there, dig a little hole, bro. The one thing I tell you though, don't lean against a pine tree, but though, because you might walk away looking like a bear tried to make you his girlfriend, they say. So make sure you find a good spot like this. You know, nice tucked away a little bit. Don't be like that pendejo who took a dump on the trail because the dude was no time for preparation, you know? Turtle head probably poking out and, and he had to just drop trout right there. So make sure number one, find a good spot. Tip number two, dig a little hole, you know, five, six inches deep. You know, maybe just enough to handle your business and paper, cover that up. You know, if you, if you come in last night late and you stop at the gas station, we get a, uh, a free, fr frozen burrito, or maybe you had some chili mac mountain house last night, man. You want to dig that hole maybe eight or nine inches deep, bro, because that stuff gonna be foul, you know. So here's the next tip: make sure you always prepare in the back country. That's right. Always carry my business kit with me. So let's go over the items in my business kit. First things first. I have toilet paper. Next thing, I have wet wipes. I like the dry, wet, dry method myself, you know. I don't like to just use wet wipes because I don't like that swampy, cool feel in the backcountry, man. That's not for the cholo. Next thing, pepper towels. I always have two or three pepper towels, man. You never know when the job is gonna require you step your game up. So make sure you're prepared, just in case, man. Have some pepper towels. Last thing, hand sanitizer, you know. Hey, man, you gotta eat in the backcountry, too. You don't wanna be touching the stuff and then putting food in your mouth, so make sure you take care of that stuff. Here's one more tip for all you backcountry bow hunting cholos. If scent control is, is an issue to you, hey, man, pick up some fresh vegetation. You know, some pine needles, some, some leaves. Put them in your kit. Take care of the scent control right there, man. You open that kit and everything already smells like the ground and dirt, bro. That's all you need, I say. Just add a little vegetation to your kit. So the last step, obviously, is bury your stuff up, man. Nobody wants to see that sh stuff. That's disgusting, I say. That's all I've got for you on this video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the backcountry bow hunting cholo tips. As always, until the next time, I'll be watching you, I say. <laughs>